Hello everyone and welcome. Today I've got a couple of mini projects to share with all of you. First I'll be making an adapter that will allow me to use these really cool looking wheels and tires included with this model car kit on my FPUC1 RC chassis. I'll also be making these Velcro body mounts to secure this model car body onto the chassis. These are a couple of parts that I've wanted to make for a while now, so I was really pleased to be able to bring these ideas to life, and I've been looking forward to sharing the design process and these parts with all of you. So let's dive right in. I'll go ahead and quickly introduce you to the project that you see here. The chassis is a 3D printed FPUC1 with some basic electronics all wired up and ready to go. The body I'm using is a 125th scale 1969 Mustang Boss 302 from this Ravel model kit. An all around really nice kit with a great looking and well molded body. The wheels and tires that are included with this kit are no exception, especially with that nice white lettering. They looked so good that I wanted to use these wheels and tires with this chassis rather than a more conventional RC wheel and tire. This isn't the first time that I've used wheels included with the model car kit on one of these RC chassis. In the past, I've simply glued them to the axles. Doing that certainly works, but obviously it doesn't make removing them very easy. At first, I did think about just modifying these wheels so that they could be glued on, but pretty quickly after looking at these parts, I decided that I want to instead design and 3D print a custom part that can be secured with a typical wheel nut rather than glue. Basically, I wanted something like an adapter piece that I could secure to the chassis and that I could secure the wheel insert and the tire to it. I really wanted to design something very similar to this white part that you see here. In fact, my custom part really won't differ that much from it. Only mine will have a cutout in the back for the hex wheel mount to fit into and it will need to have enough room for the nut that will be securing it to the axle. Hopefully that makes sense, but if not, you'll see soon enough. Basically, it's a lesson in don't reinvent the wheel if you don't have to. In this case, quite literally. So I got a bunch of measurements from this part that was included with the kit and transferred them into my own design which I modeled in Autodesk Fusion 360. It was mostly just a matter of copying the part that I had already and making sure that it will fit the wheel hex on the RC chassis and that there is room for the nut to fit between this wheel adapter piece and the chrome wheel insert piece that was included with the model kit. Basically that chrome wheel insert piece, or whatever you want to call this, will be like a hubcap if that makes sense, though I guess it might also help kind of hold the tire on as well. So after just several minutes of design work and 3D printing, I had my new part, which as planned isn't all that different from the one included with the kit, but this one will fit the chassis. So hopefully by now you get a good idea of how this works. You can see the wheel nut in there, which holds this new piece that I just printed on, and there's still plenty of room for that chrome wheel insert piece. Now all I need to do is cut down the axle shafts so that they are just long enough for the nut to thread onto, but not too long as that wouldn't allow me to put on those wheel insert pieces. With that said though, fortunately these pieces have a large enough hole in the back for the axle shaft to slide into, further confirming that this conversion was meant to be. I measured the location of where I wanted to make each cut, then removed the excess axle shaft with a rotary tool. To hopefully make sure that these wheels don't go flying off, I used some Loctite. Hopefully a little on the end is enough to keep them from coming loose, but also doesn't make them too much of a pain to remove without bending the whole chassis in half, but I guess we'll see. And there you go, with the tires and wheel inserts pressed on, these wheels look sick. I love the look, and unlike with using glue, 
These are fairly easily removable, although certainly more difficult than with a conventional style RC wheel. Now one thing I'm not sure of yet is how well those tires are going to stay on. They feel pretty solid, but I have a feeling I might have to use a little RC tire glue to keep them on, but again, we'll see. Again though, I love the look of these stock wheels, and I was eager to get that body mounted, so that's what I did next. I've mounted bodies with screws and magnets plenty of times before, but it's not too often that I've used Velcro, so I decided I wanted to experiment a bit by designing some new body mounts that would allow me to use Velcro. Velcro does have the advantage of adjustability. When you glue magnetic body mounts in, you'd better make sure that they are positioned just about perfectly. However, with Velcro though, you can move the body around to be positioned exactly where you want it each and every time you install the body. That is also sort of Velcro's disadvantage, however, as it might take you a few times to place the body exactly where you want it, as opposed to magnets where, if you have them positioned correctly, all you have to do is basically just drop the body on top of them and it will be perfectly aligned every time. Really, both have their advantages and disadvantages, but it's always nice to change things up a bit and experiment with different parts and techniques. I designed a very basic adjustable mount with a base that can be glued to the chassis and an upper part that the Velcro can be secured to. The two parts are connected to each other with M2 hardware. Here's a look at the finished parts. They're very basic, but should get the job done, and hopefully they prove to be durable. I did need to glue on some extensions to the front and rear of the chassis so that the mounts would be under the sections of the body that I wanted. I then mocked everything up to make sure that the body will be sitting high enough. The mount in the rear was a bit too short, so I printed a taller base. And with that new part, I glued each mount to the chassis. Since this car won't have any detailed engine bay, I glued the hood in place. The underside of the hood will make a great place for the other side of the Velcro to go. And with those two pieces of Velcro in place, the body has been mounted. It's simple, but there is a little bit of wobble. I think to correct this, I'll try either making a wider mount or maybe installing three or four mounts instead of just the two that I have here. One thing I am trying to avoid is having too much of the Velcro making contact, as it really starts to take some force to separate the body and chassis. Regardless though, I'm satisfied with these new parts so far, and I'm looking forward to really putting them to the test. And man, I'm loving how this Mustang is looking, especially with those stock wheels. Once this car is complete, it's gonna look sick. If you'd like to use these parts for your own projects, the STL files have been posted over on Patreon. The link will be below in the description. I'm not sure what model kits these wheel adapters will fit, other than this one of course, but I'm sure I'll be making some more of these for other builds in the future. Hopefully if you'd like to design something similar, this gives you some ideas. But that's going to be all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.